The next horse we have is um, Remy First Fleet. Now Remy First Fleet is by Fisherman's Friend and I think um, the most alike Fisherman's Friend son there is. Um, we love him, he's an amazing horse. This horse is out of a Lantham mare who has again produced a couple of very good horses, um, particularly a couple by Laurie's Az. Um, now Finn we bought for Caitlin or Caitlin's parents bought for Caitlin when he was two and a half from Remy Stud and has completely trained all the way through to Pre St George. Very competitive Pre St George, advanced Pre St George horse, about to have his first into one start. All trained by Caitlin Dooney, who's the rider. Caitlin's worked for us for over five years. Um, very good rider. Um, a big, big part of the team and a very good competition rider. So, this one, we might go through a few exercises. So the other horse, and you can just see Caitlin rode a half halt then. Everything is about forward and back. Turn on, Caitlin, keep stretching it. Um, everything is about forward and back. So you watch Caitlin while she's stretching the horse. She's always thinking, get the horse down through the bridle and wanting to stretch into the bridle. Then all the time working on the balance, tempo changes, coming back and going on, testing that the accelerator works, testing the brakes work. We do this in as much pony trot as we can. We don't want to use the horse up or damage the horse in this warm up phase. Then <clears throat> we might test a little bit. Now you'll see a little bit different to the first horse or um, the Laurie Zaz gelding in the way that we just wanted the stretching. Now we're going to make even more emphasis on straightness. So you want to start a little, he's warmed up, huh? Is he warmed up? Okay, let's start a little bit of sitting trot. And this is when we start to make the half halts with a little bit the haunches to the outside of the circle and nose out, just in shoulder four position there and you can see how the horse compressed and the tempo has changed a little bit more to a better sort of slower swinging tempo. Now trot on a little in that, keeping that feeling going to the outside rein. Now it's very important we know the horse's faults. This is, as soon as you, if you don't say right, this horse has got a little bit problems in the neck. If you don't say that, you're never gonna fix it. So this is the one thing we want from this horse is him to wanna to take the neck forward. Now we know through training, the stronger the horse gets on the hind leg, so the more half halts and he has power to sit there, then we can say he is more in the neck. So you'll see Caitlin all the time, just proofing the reins to the horse and saying, go on, take your nose forward. Good, okay, another half halt. So a little bit inside leg and you'll see the left, right hind go under the horse more there. And now ride the half halt till he comes up a little. Come, come, and let go, and let go. Now just the weight of the reins. Now trotting on a little. Good, now we see the horse start to come a little bit more up in front. Come, come. Good, and then a half or back again. And go on again. Soft, soft, soft. Good, half or back. And soft, trotting on. Good. Okay, so now he has a little bit more purpose as well. So those half forwards by bringing him back and sending him forward is now maybe he's thinking a little bit more forward. He's thinking that he must go. Yeah, and the most important thing is that he's good on your aids. So now Caitlin will tilt her pelvis forward and say, come here to just a little bit shorter steps. And now let's challenge him a little more in the short steps, Caitlin. Good. And again, just controlling the tempo. Good, and then trotting on again. Very good. Let's change direction. A couple of half halts and you could stretch him again. Rising, rising trot. Always nice to be able to switch the horse from being up and really attentive and ready for the ring and then switch him off and say it's okay stretch again and then his back comes soft again and all the muscles long again and, and really light good boy good and then again okay you can start to bring him up and again now we work a little bit haunches to the right outside rein nose a little bit to the right in the half halt so you come back and you wait until you feel that there's a, all the way back enough He's light in the hand. You give the rein a little and say, there it is. That's where I want him. And now trot on. Trot. And it has to be that the tempo that you develop in the short step is what you build into the bigger steps. Yeah, good boy. Soft in front. Show another half foot with the haunches out. Good. Okay. Very good. So now we'll start the exercise. Haunches out, haunches in. Yeah, it's a simple exercise, but we do lots of this on the circle. Again, just to make the hind legs quicker. So nose in now, we keep the nose now more in flexion in, haunches out. And we're going to cross the hind legs a little bit. Now push, now push. Good, a little bit more, a little bit more. 
Good, a little bit more. Ah, half or back, haunches out, haunches out. So you, we can see that he has to bend his hocks more. This makes it more gymnastic. Again, good. Okay, now soft, haunches in. And now we go in trave. Good, open frame. So you can see in trave it developed enough power that the nose became more open again. Good, now we just trot straight after. That's the trot. There it is. Little proof the reins again. Long in the neck. Long in the neck. Come. Good. Haunches out. Good. Soft. Half or back seat. Haunches out. Half or back. Half or back. Good. Good. Now, this horse does avoid it a little bit, yeah, because he he's finds sideways a little bit hard. So as soon as Caitlin goes with the aid of haunches out, he runs off. And then Caitlin has to explain to him, no, you've got to stay back on the half halt. Haunches out again. That's better. Stay there. Don't let him run away off it. Just gently push to haunches out. Gently. Just encourage him. There. Now a little bigger in that. Softer hands. Come, come. Haunches out. Good. Ah, good. And then he, he came in on his own flexion, yeah? That's what you want again. That he got so much on the outside rein that he empties your inside rein. Haunches out. Soft. Soft. Good. Good. Did you feel that give again? Yeah, chin up, huh? Haunches in. Good. Good. And most important, you know, it should always be look good for the trainer. Yeah, this should never smiles. It makes it look like I'm doing a bad lesson. Up in the neck. Good. Let go open and trotting on. Good. Chin up. Good. Trotting on. Good. Smile. Change direction. A little bit stretching again. Smile, Caitlin. Stretching. Good boy. Longer in the neck, Caitlin. Longer in the neck. Good. Trotting on. Yeah, even longer. Even longer. Press a little bit with both legs and set, give the reins. Say, go forward in the nose. Yeah. Good boy. Circle line. Good boy. Okay. Up in sitting trot. And we go back to the exercise. Haunches out, haunches in. Super. Now, come on, encourage the haunches out. Chin up. Very good steps. And a little more. Come. Yeah, good. Haunches out again. Haunches out. Haunches out. Come. Come. Good boy. A little more. Good. Soft again. Haunches in now. Stay in that position with the neck. And trotting. Trotting. Very good. So this way is heaps better. Again, once more. Trotting on a little bit in between. Medium in between. Good. Haunches out, nose in. Soft hand, soft hand, not so much in the curb. Good. Haunches out, haunches out. Come, 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 come. Good, a little bit haunches out. Good. No, again, until you're feeling, come a little bit more through the inside rein. Soft in the hand, soft, there it is, soft. Now haunches in. Good. Trotting, trotting. Good. And then straight. And then medium. Up, open, medium. Good. Okay, let's go down the long side. Let's make a walk transition by A on the diagonal free walk and only make a three quarter diagonal. And he can have a small break and then we might look at a little bit more lateral work. Open, short steps, active. Now we try and do all our walk breaks with short walk on the Short side, long walk on the diagonal. So when we're in a test, this is automatic to the horse. Not that we just walk around in the circle and have like a rest for both of us. And then we get in the ring and decide that he's got to go 100 miles an hour in the walk. That's not how it should be. It should be that he's, it's automatic to him to be short on the short side, long on the diagonal. Okay, short and just ride a short side there, Caitlin. And then on the next diagonal, show us one more free walk. And it's just steady to walk with your seat a little. There, leave him alone in front. You pick up your diagonal. And then stretching down. Good, let go more. There, bigger. This horse has a very good walk. Okay, we might just have a little look at the counter work, huh? And then we might do a little bit of lateral work in the trot, maybe at the end. 
so like in the test, we come a little bit short walk. That was late by the rider. Good. And then a canter transition. And we can work inside leg, quick, quick. Now we can work on this circle here, a little haunches out, haunches in. Cantering, cantering. Good. So this horse you'll see when he comes to the shorter canter, he struggles a little bit more and the big canter is really um, super canter. So, but it just is strength. When he comes back, he has to be stronger to be able to sit on the hind leg and stay there. Back a little shorter now. Good, and just to test that he's waiting, soft hand. Now go big, medium, medium. Open and up, open and up, bigger, good. Good, okay. Now, haunches out. Good, so this is just gymnastic. Just making him, make it the hind leg more under the rider's body. Good, a little bit more, nose in, haunches out. Good, canter, canter, open frame, open frame, haunches in. Now this exercise here is so much the half pass. Haunches in is the half pass, the haunches in is the pirouettes. It's very important that this just becomes another day at work. Now medium and straight, open frame, open frame. Super. And then now again, a little bit smaller circle. Haunches out first a little. Good. Good, haunches in. I think the inside leg helps him. Active, active, haunches in, haunches in, haunches in. Active, active. And you can see the horse using his back more, starting to come a little lower through the neck at this stage. This is good for this horse. Haunches in. Good, good. And always only so much that the horse can do. Go out again. Very good. Big, how's it feel? Big, big. Good, and again, once more, we'll do the smaller circle. I'd like to see it a little bit quicker. So you see everyone, everyone wants to make this a pirouette straight away. I think he needs more of this bigger circle work. Sure, in the test we make it a little bit, make it smaller for the pirouette, but in training we keep it really big so the horse never feels like he's out of power or not good at something. We try and always keep his confidence up that he feels that this is very achievable quicker, very achievable. So he never has to sort of feel sorry or feel disappointed in what he's doing. Good, back, back. Good, that's enough. Go out, there are the steps. Go out, good. One flying change to change direction. Good boy. Through corners. Good, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. And again, you've got to be careful that that counter doesn't get too slow. Yeah, because we know in the short canter, he's not quite strong enough yet. And so when, he's, when you bring him back, he slows down too much. You have to think that he's got to keep his tempo up a little. That's ah, good canter now, huh? Really good. Really good. Haunches out, haunches in one. Good, soft. Put your nose in, nose in. Trust your aids, yeah? If you take his nose to the inside and haunches out, your outside rein makes a little half or it'll mean the same as you're putting the nose out. Good, now haunches in. Inside leg, keep the jump in the canter. Good, outside rein, outside rein, outside leg. More haunches in, come, more trave. Inside leg has to stay more on. This way he wants to jump completely straight in the body. You have to keep your inside leg so he gets more bend through the body. Now haunches out. Good, canter on, canter on, canter on. Good, canter on. Don't let him roll over. Push open in the frame. That's it. Now haunches in. Good. And now you can make the circle a little smaller. That's it there. Inside leg. Inside leg now. Come, 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 come. Inside leg. Out, 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 out. Little touch there. Touch. Yep. Now back in. Good. There it is. Good boy. Back in. Go out. Good. Go out. Go out. Very good. Good. Okay. One flying change somewhere. And then we make a little break. Good. Maybe that was running out of room there, yeah? I would have maybe done another circle and gone to a longer short diagonal. Okay, let's have a walk break. Make the transition at A. Always think for the test. Always think for the test. 
active. Now diagonals of free wall. Really good, huh? And now pressure from your leg that he wants to take the nose even further forward. Good, leg. That's it, longer neck, longer reins. Good, longer, inside leg. Good, let go again, a little more stretching. Ah, short, just a little slower off your seat. Soft in front. And stretching again. Let go, let go. That's it. Big up. I think you land a little late on the diagonal. Yeah, I would be a meter or so earlier to F. That's better. Much better. Okay, short walk, trot by A. Let's do a shoulder in and half pass. So now we've done the exercises, <clears throat> hopefully we have him really with us enough to then just do a little bit of work for the test. I like to work on the circle here so any mistakes that are made straight away is not related to a line that we do in the test. It's very important I think not to show them they can do bad movements. On the long side if they're going to make mistakes we make it on the 20 meter circle and get, the, get him right first. And then when he goes and does his first shoulder in, with any luck, it's confident. Outside rain. Trotting on a little now, super, very good, very good, good, okay, then again next long side, a little bit, shoulder in, let go in front, let go, so now we can see the horse is more compressed, he's starting to be a little bit more uphill, super, super, half or back, Oh, so when you think it's running, come back and test him. Okay, let's start in shoulder in, then a half pass off the next long side. Soft in front. Good, shoulder in first. Half halt, half pass, only to the center line. Again, it does not, doesn't have to be hard. Good, bend him a little more, inside leg. So the next half pass, that's it there. That's where I want it to start. Okay, turn right. And again, shoulder into half pass. I want more inside leg. That way he just was like barely, he was just had flexion. Okay, inside leg, half pass. Only two steps. Half hold. That's okay, that's okay, let the shoulders come. This is good, this horse wants to come quicker in the hind leg, yeah? And again, shoulder in. This is where you set your shape. And now half pass. This time a little bit front legs in the lead. Front legs in the lead. Now let go. Now a little more modern, trotting. Front legs, perfect. Okay, turn right. Down one letter, so not every time that he hits a letter he thinks he has to do a movement. Down on the diagonal from R, medium. Let go, come, medium up. That's it, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, good. Left leg. Next long side, start shoulder in. Open frame, half or back, 10 meter circle if you have to, just to get him a little more back on the half halt. That's okay, he's excited. Open frame. L yeah, just a little loop in the reins, that's better. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Well ridden, straight now, tell him he's good. Next long side of half pass, shoulder in then half pass. Take your time. And now half pass. Don't let him roll over. So if you feel him roll over, then you make more inside leg. Let go. Yeah, good boy, good boy. And again, that's next long side again. And half pass. Open, better. Now bring the half pass, more sideways, more sideways. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Encourage him again, one more. Trotting. Good girl, open frame. Shoulder in. Half pass, more open. Seat.
Better at the end again. Do it again. This time in the half hold. Just bring him back a little bit more before you half pass. On your seat. Now bring him back a little more. Now open the frame. Now bring the haunches more. Super, super. Good. Next diagonal. And we don't change direction after the half pass. We try and bring the pace back up. So she's going to do a medium trot after the half pass. Medium trot. Open frame, early to your letter. Open frame. Good boy. Early to your letter, inside leg. Open frame, show him off on the short side, up. Good girl, well ridden, huh? Long side, just so he knows there's no movement. On the circle line here. How's he feel? Okay, rising trot, let go. Stretching down, slower off your seat. Good, slower off your seat. And half or back. Good, half or back. Good. Good. A little more stretching. Slower. There, now let go. Let go more. And a good boy. And then sitting trot to walk. And walk. Reward on his neck. Very good. Well ridden, hey? Well done.